all starts in a high school. Specifically, Novato High School, Novato, California. This is the story of a feature film made entirely by high school students, starring high school students, for a high school film class about life in high school. This truly is high school filmmaking. One, two, three, four. In early 2005, sophomore film student Beth Dish set out to make a dramatic film of a cautionary tale aimed at and depicting high school. Her initial concept addressed teen pregnancy. A few months after that fell by the wayside, I suggested a similar film addressing fashion and teenage self-image issues. I called it Curse of a Beautiful Girl, and it was this treatment that eventually evolved into a moment's image. Over the course of 2006, a Moment's Image was developed into three parallel stories, each addressing different issues. As fourth-year film students at Marin School of the Arts, Beth Dish and Nathan Clays were assigned to undertake feature films to span the course of the year. They combined their efforts into A Moment's Image. My name is Beth Dish. I'm Nathan Clays. I'm Dana Tamara. And my role in this film was to co-write, edit, direct, and produce. Co-writer I teach video production, photography, and digital art at Marin School of the Arts at Novato High. End of December is rolling around and we need to give the script to Miss Tamura because whatever reason, deadlines and whatnot. And so, well, it worked. Eventually we got it all together. Well, we meaning Beth staying up all night writing the rest. Being in the MSA, they had a wealth of actors at their disposal, thanks to the theater arts and musical theater classes. Hi, I'm Zach Schumann. My name is Shaylin Hoy. I'm Chelsea Rickman. Hi, I'm Dana Pollock. I'm Ben Campbell. Hello, I'm Cameron Vanderskull. Hi, I'm Sam Turnbull. Hi, I'm Cameron Harvey. And I play David Tarrant. Jennifer Edwards. Christy. Jessica. Nick. I play Chad. And I play the character of Jerome in A Moment's Image. Do you still want to go to Katie's party tomorrow night? Yeah, I would. Right, auditions were fun. Auditioning was interesting. I was bad at the auditioning process. You know, we just sat while the other person auditioned, and you know, one by one, we each came back saying how horrible our, our auditions were. Well, I heard there were auditions. Beth came into our theater class. Beth came into our class, and she asked all of us if we wanted to. She was going to make this full-length film. And I thought, hey, that's, you know, being in theater, I should, you know, try to explore all aspects of theater. I've never really done much film acting before. And she asked if we wanted to audition for it, and almost everybody did, and it was kind of a casual thing in the beginning. We just went into the video room, and she had a camera set up. We were still revising the script while we were doing auditions, so we had all these actors come in, smelly, sweaty actors come in. We had written some characters with that actor in mind. For example, Chelsea's character, definitely, we wrote the script and we're thinking, Chelsea here, Chelsea here, Chelsea here, and then Chelsea read the part, and she did really well. And I was really stressed out that week because it was like finals week or the week before finals, and I spaced it. Um, she didn't actually come to the auditions because she forgot, which didn't bode well. She really wanted me to audition, but she needed to know I'd be reliable, so I did my best to be reliable, and I told her that I could be there as much as I could, that it was just a bad week for me. Well, the audition itself was a rather brief affair. I showed up because she said she already had me in mind for the role. He came to audition and only had about three minutes because he had to go get his ride home, and he ran in and he read the script, and then he ran out, and it was like when Ronnie's Cameron sauntered, but then, you know, he hurried. Enough's enough. I don't like you and I never did. Get away from me, you cow. <laughs> <laughs> but she said that she knew what I was capable of. Yes. Being a jerk, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Shaylin, I didn't know before the auditions. She came in and it was this girl with brown hair, and I think that's what I made my note as, girl with brown hair. And she talked 
relatively quickly during the audition, and she talked relatively quickly during the production. Okay, so I'll see you then. Hey, uh, Jennifer? Yes? Do you uh, want to call this a date? Yeah, I'd like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and then Beth emailed, emailed me back, and she's like, hey, you're in it. So I was like, cool. It was exciting. So Sam and Zach, that was interesting. We wrote the script with Zach in mind as Jerome and Sam in mind as David. And then when they came to audition, Sam, we had Sam read for David and Sam did not do very well at all in that role. He just did not get into it, couldn't feel it at all. I just said I would. Oh no, you're not going, you're not allowed to stay here until you go out there and get a job. God, what am I going to tell your father? He's not my dad and I can take care of myself. Same goes with Zach. We had him read for Jerome, and it just felt wrong. It didn't do almost anything for either of us, me and me or Nathan. Cool. Let's get down to business. All right. Obviously, when I go to meet the head of the Greens... What's his name? Justin. Anyway, I can't be alone, even though that's what we agreed on before. Uh, when Ben was auditioning, that was a lot of fun, because I love Ben. He's fun to work with. And we tried him out for Matt, and he did really, really well as Matt, and he got the part of Matt. This is not natural! You were fine before, and you would have made plenty of friends then. No, I wouldn't. Real friends wouldn't make you change the way you look and act. It's different because I've never really auditioned for anything on film before. I usually audition for stage pieces. I just read the lines, and I didn't feel like there was much emotion to it, and so I was like, I don't really know if that was good or bad. They read the most horrible horrible lines I've ever wrote, ever. And I was like, oh, did I write that? I have to change that. But you know, it was stressful, but I did it. It was short, quick and easy. I thought afterwards, you know, I did a horrible job. I'm never gonna get picked, but you know, I was glad I did it. it. Turned out well. I didn't know the material at all. So, uh, you know, I just went with it, reading it for the first time, but I guess it went well, I got a part. Well, just, just to, to head this off, film is way different than theater in a sense that when you're in theater, um, everything is really big, and film, you can do it a lot smaller and still get, get it across. It was just, it's so different than stage auditions. Uh, it was, you know, it was different and it was much more difficult because it was hard not to, you know, overact and express more emotion. I guess this is a lot different from theater because in theater, most of the time we're overacting and doing, you know, crazy stuff like that on the outside of you as opposed to the inside of you, which is basically film versus theater. In film acting is supposed to be a lot more natural or a lot more just normal, which I'm not used to doing, so that was actually a lot, a lot more difficult for me. Oh man. Scheduling was a little hard sometimes because it got near the end of the year, so that was a little difficult. This was something that, you know, there's always going to be someone who had something to do because we're all in high school and we have our classes, we have our jobs, we have our other productions. I've been doing fencing, so I've been going out of the, a couple times when we've been filming, I've been in Pasadena or in Colorado <laughs> or in uh, Arizona or someplace else and Beth is calling me like, oh, are you ready for the shoot tomorrow? and I'm in another state. Well, there was this one time when I woke up and I knew I had to film that day, but I was thinking it'd be later on in the day. And um, I checked my email to figure out when it was supposed to be, and uh, what do you know, I'm already supposed to be there. I freaked out, because I really, this is, you know, be wanting to show Beth that I'm reliable and that I'm, you know, I'm gonna be there, like I say I am. So I stressed out and I, got dressed. I didn't even have my costume with me, but I just figured I'd rush down there and see what was going on, and by the time I got down there, Beth and Nathan are both standing there with nobody else around, and I'm just like, oh god, what did I do? And, you know, Beth basically just says, um, yeah, nobody showed up, so, she goes, you're the first person to show up, and, you know, at least you're making an effort, so, that was a little helpful to not feel quite as bad about being late. There were a lot of things that happened that were unplanned that I had to deal with that were really annoying. Um, and we had to do some emergency recasting, and I got Daniel the day of the shoot, 
because I was trying to get Evan Loker and I was trying to get a couple other people and nothing ever worked out so I ended up with Daniel which he did a really good job so it was fine. It was crazy because we would just squeeze it in there like sometimes Beth would just call us at you know she would say okay tomorrow night we're just gonna all meet at 9 30 in the back of the school and um we're gonna um shoot this scene as fast as we can and you know someone would be like okay well I have to be somewhere at 10 or something she's like fine we're gonna shoot in a half an hour then I'm glad that everybody that I got to work with in the film was someone that I already knew because we had that bond and we had that we were just like comfortable with each other and it's so much more guys check out my skill <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm having joke. my close up right now. I know there's a lot of annoying people on the set too. I've been trying to deal with her, but I have to pretend to be her best friend in the movie. And frankly, one of the hardest characters I've ever. Oh, you you can bring it. Bitch. Just kidding. We did have this fight scene the other day though. I came home with bruises. So, we like slap the shit out of each other. Go ask him. I don't know. Oh my god, just go do it. Do it, 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 do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, you go through a lot in the film process, but I'm willing to put myself out there and really take it. You know, I mean, sex hard, but it's what we do. It was great working with people that, you know, I knew and that I was friends with and I was able to uh, work with them like Sam, it was fun to work with him because we had never, since he was in the theater arts class, I've always seen his stuff, I've never been able to work with him and so that was a good experience. And this is where we hang out. We? Yeah, me, Brock, and Theo, and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Yeah, me, Brock, the whole game. <laughs> um, the whole production overall was really fun because I got to work with Ben most of the time, which was really funny <laughs> because he just, he can't be normal. He's just so funny and we love him. And I mean, every scene we did just <laughs> turned out to be something that we'd crack up at. And it was rather hard to keep a straight face when Ben had to kiss me on the cheek or put my hair behind my face because Ben makes rather funny faces when he's doing that. And it was <laughs> really difficult. And Ben just walks funny sometimes, so that was really funny. You put your finger in my ear. He was like, <laughs> I don't wear tights. I don't know. Yeah, that relationship between um, Beth and Nathan had it had already been building a little bit previous years. I think that Beth considers Nathan her camera operator, and Nathan considers Beth his partner. Explain the significance in the in, in the irreplaceable crucial crucial role that you play, and how important that is. That's Beth. <laughs> it's been really great working with him because, you know, we have a really great partnership and I feel that we just work really well together and he comes up with a lot of shots frequently that I would never ever think to do. No, but we can cut in the middle of the shot to him standing up at a different shot. No, can't we just hide in the tripod? Good. It's boring now. <laughs> well, we're trying to do this quickly, so <laughs> boring's okay. There was one shoot that he handled completely on his own. We had this one cursed scene um, that took place at school, and I think me, Chelsea, and uh, Beth tried to shoot it like five different times, but... That shoot at lunch that day had been put off, I think, four or five times due to every possible reason that it could be put off. Nathan came up with the shot where Chelsea was walking, and Nathan put the trash can in the foreground and had the apple go whoosh right into the trash can, and it was really cool, because it's like, oh, damn, that's a cool shot. He insults me all the time, but it's not in a mean way. I don't like this. It's crap. And she says, shut up! And I wait till it's all night! And then we yell at each other, and then he finally wins, and then I agree with him, because it is a better shot. <laughs> the line that was in the script was, David hears the sound of an ambulance and sees flashing lights and the face of a doctor. We wrote it really ambiguous so that if we couldn't get the ambulance and it wasn't going to be any big deal, we wouldn't have to compromise the script. And I called the uh, non-emergency line at the fire department and asked to talk to somebody about using the ambulance in the film. I said what the project was and that it was for the freshmen and I asked for help using the ambulance and immediately he said, sure, that sounds fine.